doesn't, um, you would never release. I have explained to you, I think, that you do not take photographs of critically ill patients. Can you imagine if you or anyone you loved or cared about critically ill in an intensive care unit or recovering was being photographed and their images shared, how would they or you feel? We just do not do that. And I, do, I cannot understand why anybody here thinks it would be a reasonable thing to do. It's extraordinary. Uh, doctor, I have the one. I'm going to take a question from over there now, please. Um, doctor, you said you were always willing to come for, a press, for such a press conference and the government called you now. Uh, we are asking you this question repeatedly because there is a change in the political situation in the state right now. So uh, we just wanted to know if you were willing earlier to or you were available only now. Can you please clarify that? My availability is limited. Um, it isn't possible for me to, to come just whenever, but clearly I would make time to come uh, as soon as possible when asked. As to precisely why this is the time that I've been asked, that's a matter for others, other than I think that clearly the feeling that these matters needed to be clarified after an appropriate period of time, after the initial grieving and mourning period had passed. More than that, I can't say, I'm afraid. I am not, as you know, a native of your state, and the subtleties of some of the things that go on here are not things I pretend to understand. Uh, Dr. Bill, uh, was he... I'm now going to take a question from over there. You have had several questions. We'll come back to you. At the back there, sir. Uh, this gentleman... No, I'm not. I was rung up at my home to be asked that question. I see it's been reported in some of the media. It's very easy to find out about me. I am a professor of intensive care medicine and a specialist in sepsis with, without being immodest, something of an international reputation. So I am most certainly not an embalming specialist. Uh, Doctor, what is the last thing you spoke with the Chief Minister? What did you speak to her? The last thing that you spoke with the Chief Minister? Gosh, I'm struggling to remember what that would be, um, but we talked about many things, but uh, we talked about what she liked to watch on the TV, we talked about food, we talked about rehabilitation, um, I told her about my children, um, we talked about many things, which of these was the last I do not remember, but, but, but the point I think I'm getting across is we were having those sorts of interactions. Now, of course, she couldn't speak clearly, but she could mouth clearly, I could understand, and she could, um, she could signal what she meant. So it was possible to have those sorts of was interactions. Was she cooperating? Of the, course, absolutely. Yeah, it seems she said it's a tough court. You said you are the boss. You yes. Are, uh, uh, listening to all that. I can tell you, it was a, at a personal level, as she recovered sufficiently to be interacting, it was clear to me what a most remarkable lady she was. And it was a pleasure, a privilege to be involved with her care. I very much got a, strength, a sense of a strength of purpose and dedication, um, a remarkable lady. So yes, she was at a stage where, as a, a, a newcomer to meeting her, I could get that sort of impression. So she recovered to that one. I have no idea how much the treatment costs. Dr. Abraham, Dr. Abraham, Dr. Abraham and Dr. Balaji, this question is to Dr. Abraham and Dr. Balaji. Just a moment. Who else is available there next to her? Who else is there next to her on a daily basis interacting with her? The medical personnel. Other than the medical personnel? The family. The family. family. Immediate family, family or can you name the family? Closer to family. No, no, not, not true. She, she was interacting with her. Who else? Who else was interacting with her? Uh, oh, I do not know. I do not know most of the people. But... Uh, how many people? No, no. I uh, tell you one thing. Sorry. The reason why the reason why we ask, sir, the reason why we ask is since you say please, 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 allowed. Uh, uh, please. So, please. We're, I think we're getting the sense of the question you wish to ask. But if we could just yeah. lower the temperature a bit, we so can try and deal with the, it. The chief minister herself would be personally asked whether she's interested. Because as a road to recovery, 
uh, you know, when, when she says, we'll ask such and such a big, would you like to meet? She'll say yes or no. It's only such people we have allowed it. Sir, what about the time? You said for 10 to 20 days she was unconscious. She gave a response through sign language? No, she'll say yes or no. Very, very, she's very clear. Sir, Even, sir for t almost like uh, from what you said earlier, at least 20 days she has been asleep because she was sedated. Where is the question of saying yes or no? Who took the calls then? See, she is... No, it's 75 days she was in the hospital. No, so I'm going by what you said earlier, to an, in answer to an earlier question. 75 days she was in the hospital. Out of that, maybe as you said, 20. 24, 15 to 20 days, yes. She okay. was on the ventilator. No, no the yeah. early, earlier phase, around the... after September 28th. So when, I just... When I was an NIV and then you... So I just remind you of the process again. When someone is put on the ventilator, to begin with, they're put to sleep completely with anesthetic drugs to make that possible. Then they're gradually woken up as much as is possible whilst keeping them comfortable with some sedation running. Once a tracheostomy is done, then the sedation is withdrawn completely because there's no longer any need. The sedation is really used just for, if there's any painful procedure, to alleviate the distress of a tube through your throat, which as you can imagine is uncomfortable. And so when the tracheostomy is done, that's taken away. And sometimes it's used just to make the interaction with the ventilator easier. And as all those things became less of an issue, then the sedation is weaned right down and then removed. But even when sedation is on, it's often on at a very low level that doesn't prevent someone from interacting to some degree. Dr. Richard, I have a question for you. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to go over here next, then we'll come back to this side. So the gentleman in the blue shirt with, with the microphone. Doctor, thanks. Uh, I just want to ask, it's a normal procedure for doctors uh, attending on patients in critical care to come out and brief somebody, the closest relative or somebody, on what, what the situation is. Who were you briefing? What, what were the updates you were giving them? So we were uh, 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 briefing uh, Ms. Shashikala on a daily basis and the government officials, the uh, chief, um, chief secretary, chief secretary chief health secretary, secretary uh, health, uh, the health minister, secretaries to the honorable chief minister, ministers and uh, whenever the deputy speaker, Mr. Tambidure was there, he, a, we uh, we'd had a daily briefing usually in chairman's office with the whole team. team. Sir, sir, Bale, sir. sir. Balaji sir. Sir, sir, Baba. Hello. Sir, Balaji sir. Sir, what is it? I think it's my chance, sir. Excuse me. Inna, inna, come on. Hello. So, listen. Sir, Balaji sir. All in our path, sir. So, so, please. Mudalamai, sir. Please, please. Was there a idea? Sir, Balaji sir. Sir, what? Sir, please, sir. Please. One minute, sir. Sir, all in our path, sir. All in our path, sir. All in our path, sir. So, so listen, sir. Kim, please. If we all shout at each other, we won't get anywhere. Now, there was a question in Tamil which Dr. Balaji was going to translate so that we could try and address it. Sir, I will turn this side. Sir, his question was. Dr. His Richard, question was. Question no, 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 no. Now, I'm really not going to have a conference con conducted in this fashion, please. We will answer everyone's questions. But we're trying we're to deal to with say. something from over. So let's just the, do each other. Let's the, just do each other the common courtesy of just taking our turns. His Excellency, the Governor, first visited her, and uh, her uh, her condition was explained by the chairman and other doctors. The second time when he visited, he he went into the ICU, and he was able to see her through the glass door. And uh, Madam Jayalalitha showed a thumbs up, and which he also has expressed to the His Excellency, the Governor. But governor told I can't meet as our CM. But governor told I can't meet our CM. Sir. So, okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to take the question for the gentleman with the microphone in the blue shirt. You, sir. Yours. Governor, our, our governor told I can't meet uh, our CM. Wow, is he told uh, or as a statement like this like. Oh, sure. In the marina, governor, na suli kare na vande mudal vara sandhi ka mudila abinda na veli vande. He was briefed about it. The second time when he came, you can even clarify with him very clearly. He has even made the statement, you can clarify with the uh, principal secretary to the governor. You can clarify with him, he has uh, very categorically said that he has gone into the ICU and he found her. 
சார் முதல்வர் வந்து இன்னும் இன்னும் ரெண்டு மூணு நாளில் வெளியே வீட்டுக்கு வந்துருவாங்க சீக்கிரம் வந்துட போகிறாங்க அப்படின்லாம் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க மருத்துவ குழுலாம் சொன்னீங்க எல்லாரும் செய்தியில் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க ஆனால் திடீர்னு அவங்களுக்கு வந்து கண்டினியூ பண்ணுறாங்க இந்த மாதிரி இந்த மாதிரி பண்ணதுக்கான அந்த கண்டினியூ பண்ணதுக்காக என்ன நடந்தது அது அதை சொல்லுங்களேன் டாக்டர் பாபு வாட் இஸ் இஸ் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் யூ செட் ஷீ இஸ் ஆன் த ரோட் டு ரெக்கவரி சடன்லி ஹவு கார்டியா கரஸ்ட் என்சியூட் அண்ட் ஹவு ஷீ டிடெரியரேட்டட் சாம்பார் சாதம் சாப்பிட்றாங்க இட்லி சாப்பிட்றாங்க சாம்பார் எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றாங்க வாட் இஸ் செட் இஸ் வெரி ட்ரூ ஷி வாஸ் செட்டிங் அப் இன் த பெட் வாட்சிங் டிவி ஈட்டிங் சைடு சாதம் ஆல் தட் ஷீ டெட் ஷி வாஸ் டூயிங் ஃபிசியோதெரப்பி நாட் வாக்கிங் லைக் வாக்கிங் ஒன் கிலோமீட்டர் கெட்டிங் அப் ஃப்ரம் ஹ பெட் ஏபிள் டு வாக் ஃபியூ ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஷி வாஸ் வெரி வீக் பட் டூயிங் ஆல் தட் பட் எஸ் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி எக்ஸாக்ட்லி No, no, it is true. Just introduce. That's all. I can't give you a date, unfortunately. Doctor, let me ask life. my question. I think I've waited long enough. Sir. Let me ask my question. All right. So now there's a lady over here who has making the point that I've uh, asked lady. her to be quiet twice. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to give the, the question to, to you, madam. Sir. Sir. No. 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 Thank you, Dr. Richard. My name is Rohini. I represent a television Sir, channel called Inside Today. Please, uh, no, I'm going here. I'll well, come I'm back to you in a moment. Dr. Chen Madam. and everybody there, my name is Rohini. I represent the channel called India Today. My question is, very briefly, can you give us a timeline? I know it's a long time, 75 days, but what exactly happened till the end? Because that's what we'd like to know briefly. Questions have been raised throughout the press conference, but if you can just tell us very briefly, what is the timeline ever since she entered the hospital till the end? So, uh, I don't know whether you're on. I, of course, wasn't there the whole time. Dr. Babu can give you an, a, a high-level timeline, um, which I think he's already done, but we can uh, reiterate those key points as the best of your memory. In all fairness to him, it's quite difficult to remember precise dates for a course like this, but I'm sure he'll do his best. Sir, 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 we're about to sir, hear an answer, sir. Sir, 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 sir no, sir. he's about to speak. Okay. Now, please. So, so he... Uh, the honorable chief minister got admitted as i said on the uh, 22nd night yes she 22nd on night she was in the icu uh, with a non invasive ventilator till uh, the 28 uh, 28 or 29 six days then she got intubated after intubation she had a tracheostomy done about 10 days after the intubation after tracheostomy was done she was slowly weaned off the ventilator so she got moved uh, from the uh, icu to a room when she was off the ventilator needing ventilator support only during night when she sleeps otherwise she is always only on oxygen during sleeping period we put her just a rest so she uh, i can't remember exactly when she was moved to the room she was moved to the room and this was continued and the physiotherapy was enhanced uh, till the day of the cardiac arrest which is on the 4th do not know is the answer it was a sudden event it's a sudden cardiac arrest if as doctors we could tell why everyone is having a sudden cardiac arrest it will be very simple but it is not she it was a witness sudden cardiac arrest that happened in in the room yes sir one cardiac arrest she will live on cardiac arrest so 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 balai sir or varathil marthu manayil irundhu veetukku sella sendirukkalam Sir, Doctor. so Sir. please, 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 do, do you know how difficult it is to have 20 people shouting at you? Now, we are going to go to this gentleman in a moment. We are going to do treatment. Sir, Doctor, so we will just translate that question, please, so we know what you said. This question is, apart from you, apart from the government of tamil nadu apart from apollo doctors there were uh, expert opinion from aims specialists who also come whom you had also interacted aims doctors have given their uh, report to the government of india and the report concurs with the treatment that has been given by apollo hospital doctor why was her family members deepa sir deepa ulla enna allow pannave illa appdin solranga illa theriya illa appa avanga thana uravinar appo neenga solreenga kudumba nalla idu beyond medical answer sir idu personal question illa vaanga handle panna mudiyadhu sir idu or personal question sir 
doctor. So, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Listen, I really, I, please. Now, we, we, we are here, we are here to try and help, but really, there's no point in this conversation if you're going to, sh if you're going to shout at us. Now, as to what was your question, please? One question. So that is not a question I can answer, I'm afraid. Doctor here. Sir, one question, sir. Doctor here. Doctor here. No, what I said. What I said. What I will. What I. Not a question I can answer. Right. Yes. All right, madam. Yes. So the issue of transferring to London was discussed at great length um, and kept under review. Now, uh, the issue of transferring a critically ill patient is, a, is always a balanced one because there clearly are risks to transfer, particularly a transfer of that distance. Um, having said that, you can move nearly anybody if you put enough resource and effort into it. So it's always a risk-benefit. The question is, is there some particular treatment that can be provided in the place you're going to that is not available in the place you're coming from. The facilities at Apollo are first rate, the team was highly expert and it was being reinforced with extra opinion as you've heard. So although we discussed this at considerable length, our view, our shared view was that in that early phase when she was on the ventilator and unconscious that the things we were doing were going in the right direction and that risk-benefit balance did not justify a journey of that length with the risks associated with it. However, we kept it under review. Later, of course, she was awake and by then it was very clear that she herself did not wish to move. Once she'd woken up and was interacting as we've described and uh, it was obvious to me and I'm sure you all know there's no way we could tell the Honourable Chief Minister what she should or shouldn't do in this regard. So it became a matter of her choice, not ours. But that's how it worked. Um, uh, so so I'm going to take a question from over here. Gentleman with your hand up, please. Can you please explain the last moment? You are not. You are not. So, There is an opinion that it was delayed. The announcement was delayed. By 5.30, television channels began flashing that she was no more. At that point in time, you know, can you please explain what happened? Basically, he's asking whether she died earlier than the time Dr. now. Dr. Babu, we are taking it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, she had a cardiac arrest around about 5 o'clock. As I said, there was medical personnel in the room. So it was a witnessed cardiac arrest. The cardiac CPR was started immediately and the team, the ECMO team was informed immediately. The on-call cardiologist who was in Apollo Hospital came down within a few minutes. He's in on the same floor as the, uh, the just the above room, floor. The room where yeah. she's admitted. Yeah. So, so CPR, uh, cardiopulmonary uh, resuscitation was done. Immediately. Immediately. It's not like it is a witness cardiac arrest. So CPR went on for CPR went on for about 20 minutes and we didn't get a heart rhythm. That is when the decision was taken to put her on ECMO. So she was put on ECMO. Once you put a person on ECMO, we have to give them some time, at least 24 hours to say whether it has worked or not. So th that is the uh, time that we gave to see whether the heart will restart or not. And to, uh, at the end of 24 hours, when we reassessed her, there was still no own heartbeat. Only the ECMO machine was working. Then we realized that it was futile to continue care. And this decision was taken in consensus with all the doctors who were treating her, including the All India Institute medical team who had come down uh, the previous day. day uh, previous day. On third. Yes, and it, it was... A, a, a collective decision that it is futile to continue therapy that was then stop the ECMO. Doctor, I have a question. Sir, 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 one question, sir. Doctor, sir. So, I think I've made it clear that we are going to have some discipline in this meeting. So, can we, can we please? 
we cannot hear the questions if you all shout. So, Doctor? now, no, one question. Doctor? முறையாகத்துவீங்களா <laughs> 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 இதுக்கு வந்து நீங்க என்ன சொல்ல போறீங்க ஒரு விட்னஸே இல்லைன்றீங்க சிசிடிவி உள்ள வைக்கல அப்படின்னு சொல்றீங்க நீங்க இந்த பிரஸ் மீட் கொடுக்கறதுனால மக்கள் எல்லாம் இதை நம்ம அவங்க எழுந்த சந்தேகத்துக்கு என்ன தீர்வு எதை சொல்லி நீங்க வந்து இது இப்படிதான் நடந்தது அப்படின்னு ப்ரூவ் பண்ண போறீங்க Please, I'm not going to ask Dr. Balaji to translate that so I understand what the question is. The question is, will this press conference settle the issue that is raging? what was the treatment given to her and what was the disease process and was there frequent bulletin was there uh, did uh, the treating doctors meet the people who are waiting outside and discuss with them or tell them what was it whether bulletins were issued so that so is the question i think there are, there are a number please 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 there are a number of separate issues here now you know i'm i am not from here I'm completely independent. I was asked to come and provide some help. I was not there for everything that happened and there are elements of detail that I cannot possibly answer. However, I have a pretty good idea of what the process was. I was there in to a large degree at the beginning and during the period of time that I wasn't I was in touch from a distance. And I can tell you that the process of care that was followed here was perfectly straightforward. There was no conspiracy nothing strange happened as you have heard she got a severe infection it was in her blood it affected her heart she became acutely unwell she was brought to hospital her condition was stabilized and improved for a while it then deteriorated again she was put on a ventilator she had a lot of supportive care with a lot of input from many doctors she started to improve she had a tracheostomy she was woken up she continued to improve and have increasing physiotherapy and was doing well and looked as if she was recovering and then she had an unexpected catastrophic cardiac arrest as you have heard and tragically died that is what happened here right i'm going to take a question from the lady with the microphone please and would you just say who you are please madam Uh, Dr Richard you are I'm sorry who where are you from madam uh, I am from uh, DD news I am Aisha I am from Doordarshan I am Aisha uh, Dr Richard you are a renowned uh, doctor and you are known across the world and today you are sitting here and justifying the treatment you have given to one patient have you come across a case like this in your life earlier and still the replies are unconvincing you know why is it that uh, I mean somebody like you who has treated a patient but still you are you are justifying this case and even the uh, replies are not convincing to the people so what is your experience out of this entire case how do you look at this uh, entire experience of handling this uh, uh, case so so madam uh, what is it that we're saying that's unconvincing just help me with that please so well, there are so many questions arising there are sub questions arising what happened in the last uh, few days there's so many things you answered even then there are questions uh, related to that So have you ever justified your patient like this before in your life So I of course have uh, this is a most extraordinary situation if you ask me though have I seen exactly this happen in patients this course of events happen yes many times of course to to be put on the spot to justify in this fashion uh, is very unusual but to have this conversation with a family after someone has died and explain as best one can and try and have them understand the sequence of events that someone that it takes a while um sometimes for people to deteriorate as much as they're going to so they appear to they rally a bit then they get worse they go on a ventilator so when you have sepsis like this the process of recovery is long and s- 
slow, it isn't an on-off thing, to describe and have them understand this gradual process we have shared with you today, and then if there's a tragic ending, as there was in this case, to have them understand that these things do happen unpredictably in patients who have had the stress of a severe infection that's affected their heart on the background of chronic illness. There is nothing, unfortunately, unusual about this case from a medical perspective. What's extraordinary is that it's an extraordinary person we're talking about, and hence there's interest. But the nuts and bolts of the medicine here and the care are perfectly straightforward. Dr. Dr. Bailey, Dr. Dr. Bailey, we're going to go over here to yeah. this lady. And, and I will say there is only a limited value in going around the same questions time and time again. So I'm only going to take questions that we haven't already addressed. Okay. Uh, while considering a case, uh, Honorable High Court, Metas High Court was observing that if suspicions are being erased, then uh, why don't we exhume the body of late J. J. Lalita? As a medical team, anyone in the medical team, how do you react to such an observation? I would say it's ridiculous. Dr. Bail, my question to you. One of the politicians, Mr. Vaiko, he said he came and collected your visiting card. Did you give your visiting card to him? <laughs> I did have the privilege of meeting Mr. Vaiko, and of course, I'm very happy to give people my card if, uh, when I meet them. Um, uh, uh, doctor, uh, doctor, I'm going to take a question from the front here. There's no, suggest, no question at all about poisoning. I, I, I really don't know where this came from, but uh, and if, if, if anyone with an understanding of the detailed care that goes on in intensive care unit and the fact that everything was looked for would realize how silly that is. It's clear what the disease process was. There's nothing mysterious about it. And she was looked after and monitored in the highest fidelity, and the poisoning thing is nonsense. Doctor, what were the interactions Dr. you had with Mrs. Question, Sasikala? Please. Doctor, can I, can I, ask I have a question, question which is not. I have no knowledge of what happened before can she was admitted. Can, Doctor, you can you tell us what her vital uh, signs were like when she arrived at the hospital was her uh, you said her diabetes was uncontrolled I'm afraid we've given we've given as much information as much details we're prepared to give on that I'm Doctor afraid. your interactions so with Mrs. Answer? Sasikala and Atrajan I'm going to go over there please uh, you, is, 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 uh, Was a apnea test done before you finally uh, decided to declare was that necessary? Uh, no okay let me clarify that a little bit um, uh, because she had a, she had a cardiac yeah. death. So once someone has a cardiac death, that's death. So we don't have to do uh, apnea test at all. She had yeah. no heartbeat. So that's uh, some of the rumors that was going around. So just wanted no, to no. Uh, she, doctor, she had, doctor, your interactions with Mrs. Sasika and Natarajan, any of you can answer this. Sorry, say that again. I was your, your interactions with Mrs. Sasika and Natarajan. Yes, so I, I met uh, Mrs. Sasakala on a number of occasions. Um, both uh, as the close friend and confidant of the uh, Honourable yes. Late Chief Minister and when she was in the room and elsewhere. I can say that she was present much of the time and was closely engaged in the care in a very caring and supportive manner. Sir, Balaji, sir. Sir, Balaji, sir. Sir, sir. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm going to go to this gentleman who has his hand up here. Pray the person, please, 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 please. Sorry, uh, sir. I'll come to you in a moment. I'm going to this gentleman. So uh, I'm afraid we're not prepared to go into uh, that level of details, except to say that the uh, infection was identified and the antibiotic therapy was appropriate. sir. Uh, no, I'm going to go to the gentleman over there who I promised to come back to. Sir, no, no, the gentleman behind you. Sir, in the Tamil Nadu, there is a Sunday coming in. Mudala Mitchell, one day, Munal Mudala Mitchell, one day, December Anjan, the Yerakala, the Munaday, and the Danga, the Kaka, the Pathapa, the Pathan, Suli, Makal or Sunday. Either one day, Arasanga Sarbani, a press military, Telepur, the Mudapur, Renda, the Kilianana. 
மருத்துவமனை சார்பா என்ன சிகிச்சை கொடுக்கப்பட்டது அப்படின்ற பிரஸ் ரிலீஸ் வந்து நிர்பந்திக்கப்பட்டு கொடுக்கப்பட்டதா அந்த மாதிரி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் வந்து இதுவரைக்கும் கொடுக்கல நிர்பந்திக்கப்பட்டு கொடுக்கப்பட்டதா இல்ல மருத்துவர்கள் வந்து அவங்களுடைய சுதந்திரமா ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் கொடுக்க முடிஞ்சதா இல்ல ஏதாவது பிரஷர் இருந்ததா அவங்க சுதந்திரமா தான் அவங்களுக்கு வைத்தியம் செஞ்சாங்க அவங்க இறந்தது ஐந்து டிசம்பர் அதற்கு முன்னால் அல்ல வேற என்ன சார் கேள்வி சார் டாக்டர் பிரதாப் ரெட்டியின் பேர குழந்தைக்கு இன்னைக்கு இந்த நாளை நாளைய மறுநாள் திருமணம் அதனால் அவர் வரவில்லை Not shouted and then we will deal with them if we can.